Welcome to Dodger Stadium, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away, and today's starter, Gavin Stone. What do you got on him, Chris? It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. Yeah, and here comes Sander Bogart. And he deals. And that's off the inside edge. And we are underway. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Edge of the zone for a strike. And it's one and two. And a pitch. Bounce it off. Still one and two. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. One out, base is empty. And that's downstairs and outside. There's a strike, and it's two and one now. One down, base is empty. That one's in there. Two balls, two strikes. And a pitch. Three, two. Swing and a ball popped up. Bet settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Two up, two down. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, he had the sixth spot for them in this one. Ha Sung Kim. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well. Diving, gets down, could be extra bases. Cronenworth into second, and he's got a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Manny Machado in the box now. No balls and a strike. And Manny gets a piece. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning, perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring it up. Throws to first, and that is that. Padres leave one, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. And on the mound for San Diego in this one, Michael King. What do you look for here? Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. 
And here it comes. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. Kicks and fires. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Here's Shohei Otani. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Good eye right there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. These hitters like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, or you're in a broadcast booth, or you're a writer, better keep your eye on the game. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie. And well, now this ball is driven into the left center field gap. And he's in at second with a two-out double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. So two down. And next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Will Smith. And that's nope. outside. outside. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Profar brings it in. And that ends the inning. Nothing on the board for the Dodgers in the first. We're back on the show from Chavez Ravine in a few. No score. Back here in L.A. Now batting Jerickson Profar. Stone back to work. And a foul ball. The pitch. Strike two. James Kingsley, our plate umpire. Consistent, as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And a quick out number one. So digging in, Hassan Kim. Ground ball left side. And foul ball. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strengths. So you're aware of it, but you have to just hunt for what you can handle. In the dirt, two and two. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. And now it's going to be Luis Campusano. Tosses to first, and that will end the inning. Nothing to it. Back here at Dodger Stadium, bottom half of inning number two, Max Muncy at the dish. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. 0-1.
And a pitch. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time. And they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And that one fouled off. Next offering is down low. And that's outside. Second inning here, no score. Ripped on the ground a second, on to first, and that quickly two away. And now James Outman. And there's the strike. Good late sink on that fastball. Oh, Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Out towards right center field. Dive in. It gets down. Could be extra bases. In there safely. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Chris Taylor down. Ripped on a line. Pulls it in on the run. And that is that. So they can't. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. The line of the pitch. Fought off foul. Merrill goes six feet three inches, 195 pounds, a former first round pick in 2021. Every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. That one close rule the ball. Yeah, the count one and two. Line of the pitch. Foul ball still one and two count. And the right hander deals. And a ground ball to first. He steps on the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now batting Tyler Wade. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Top of the third, no score. Goes down looking. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below. And some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. Let off the game with a strikeout. Close oh, one. one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Two outs, bases empty. And it is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Hey. Swing and a miss. <laughs> On the ground, the third. Muncie sends it across oh. the first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Still no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Set for the bottom of the third. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. And the right hater back to work. And a foul ball. Ooh. 
Right hander kicks, deals. Line drive, pulls it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. That one is absolutely belted. Profar going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That one pushed to the left and foul. Foul ball. One and two now. Gets a piece and stays alive. Right into the plate. And Ball that one just the missed off the outside edge. It's a good take. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the. And we're back. John Chompy with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Fernando Tatis Jr. In there at the knees. That's strike one. That one at the knees for a strike. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher. Right. You have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Now there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. Wouldn't chase that time. All tied up, top half of inning number four. There's a strike. And there's a the ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Next offering is in for a strike. Two ball, two strike. One down, base is empty. That one just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Righty delivers. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Up, 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 up. Manny Machado up to the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That's down and in. That two-seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away, and when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away, and that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. Oh, that's out. And delivers outside. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Hey. That one in for a strike, two and two. Oh, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. And that one is inside. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Three, two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Padres down in order. And we are still scoreless. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom four. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. The right-hander back to work. That one ripped. Tatis ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. The batter now will be Will Smith. Flied to left his first time. Foul off down the right side. And a pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Bounce to the left side. Throws across the diamond, and they get the out on Smith. And now it's Max Muncy. Oh, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. That one to first, and it goes just foul. And that's just foul. Nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Keeps the attack going with a foul ball. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job. Just couldn't keep it fair. That's ripped to right down the line. Tatis makes the grab, and that's the inning. So no runs, no. Ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in for San Diego, Jerickson Profar. Swing and a miss. Going one. You know, one. these Padres showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to bottom, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Only two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Next for the Padres, ha -sung Kim. Went down on strikes his first time through. Trying to get him to chase on the changeup that time. That one hammered, but pulled foul. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. On the ground. The throw to first, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Freeman makes the grab, and that'll do it. Three up, three down. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. 
the pitch. On the ground, right side. Bogarts slings the first, and Hernandez is out. And now the center fielder, James Outman, doubled his first time up. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Merrill under this one. And there's two away. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. 0 for 1 so far. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. In plenty of time to first, and that will end the inning. Top of the sixth inning. So digging in now. For San Diego, Jackson Merrill. Stone back to work. Oh. And takes low for ball one. Ball one, no sight. That oh, one dude. missed. Hitters count the 2-0. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. Fouls one off. 2-2. Two two. This one in the air. Betts makes the play. One up, one down. Tyler Wade. The the next up for the Padres. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. So the lineup flips over. Stepping in for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. Here comes the skipper. New pitcher for the Dodgers, Daniel Hudson. He's pitching on two days rest. There's a strike. Hudson, 37 years oh, young, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2008. Aye. Swings through that one out in front that time. Ball, two, strikes. two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. All tied up, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Three. Swings and misses. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Three up, three down for him there. Top of the order due up in the home half of the... Back here in L.A., here's Mookie Betts. And the pitch. Popped up. Cronenworth under it. He's got it. And there's one away. And here is Shohei Otani. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hit. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Oh, he can't bring 
bring it in. Around second now as they still don't have it. Coming home. The relay. Safe. Oh, he got it through. Well, they call it one of the most exciting plays in baseball for a reason, Bird. Always fun to see an inside the park. And man, he was flying out of the box. And I think that by the time he was getting a second, he had it in his mind to go all the way. That's just great hustle from start to finish. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One for two. On the line, base hit. So the man aboard now with one away. Waste no time there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. And up to the plate is Will Smith. First pitch doesn't find the zone. In the air, out towards left center. Profar puts it away, and there's two away. Here comes Max Muncy. And that one fouled off. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And he deals. Just missed. That smash towards center. They get the out on Muncie. And that is that. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Dodgers one and the Padres nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Side. And now it's even one and one. There's a swing and a miss. Let's say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling it off. Just off the inside corner, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one out now. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter, so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now, Jake Cronenworth. That's in for a strike. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Now this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Looking to get the tying run on inside, base. Misses off the inside. Now one and two. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher yeah, as yeah. movement. As you see right there, it really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Here's Machado. And that's a fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. To second, pulls him off the bag. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Ryan Brazier taking over on the mound. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And 
And now here is Jerickson oh, Profar. And a good eye there. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Teoscar Hernandez. The pitch. This one popped up. Bogarts under it. Nabs it. Then there's one down. Man, Dodger Stadium is so beautiful. Really a gorgeous place to play baseball. The weather is always perfect. You know, Tommy Lasorda managed the Dodgers for more than 20 seasons, and he called this place Blue Heaven on Earth. You and I, we had the privilege of walking past the Vin Scully broadcast booth and many times seeing him in there getting ready for a ball game. When I think of this place, I think of Vin Scully. That one down the line, and that chance handle gathers and throws to first. And they go down back here at Chapel. Chavez Ravine. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. And that one fouled off. And now it's even up. Just missed. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's one down. Next, it's the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. This is the type of hitter his club wants at the plate, especially playing from behind. He's hoping to start a rally right here. Next offering is in for a strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead, and we're in the top of the eighth. That's out to center field. Brings it in, and there are two down. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And the first pitch misses for ball one. to short third in. nothing doing there for the Friars back now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Tom Cosgrove and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pin with the lefty hitter coming up I think it's a good move I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me he swings and fouls one off. The pitch. In the air, left field. And it falls. And that turns the lineup over. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the now shortstop or left fielder That's be able shortstop. to get to if it oh, hangs up in the air long enough. But right yeah. there. It just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Fastball pretty much middle middle and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. Now a chance for Shohei Otani. He stops center field around third. He'll score. It's 2 0. Got the job done to put him up by two. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still finding ways to pick their spots without falling into the habit of being over aggressive. On the ground, could be two. Over to Kim. One. Back to first double play. 3-6-3, nicely done. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. 
Now here is Will Smith. Swings through that. Bounce to third. Throw over to Cronenworth, and they get the out on Smith. They limit the damage here. So one run in the inning on this base hit. Last chance coming up for the Padres. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Alex Vesia. And I can't imagine any... is an easy one you're holding a small lead on the scoreboard and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can so it's always high stress let's see what he's got here to try and close it out kicks and deals strike two just started in and ended up on the outside edge just changing planes and very difficult especially for a left-handed hitter to track At the belt and fires. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Lux takes the grab one down. So the batting order turns over. Next for the Padres, Xander Bogarts. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Right through there for a strike. The Sia goes six foot one. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose of the bullpen. Next yep, pitch is outside. Out. saw a solid effort out of their starter and the bullpen is following suit it's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach but you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances Tatis the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one and ball one to first and this should do it steps on the bag himself First career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. Two nothing, your final here in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.